this video, we will teach beginners how to dribble a basketball through an obstacle course. Beginners can range from no experience to very little exposure to basketball. The goal of the drill is to improve dribbling skills and apply it to future games. Some critical factors to this are maintaining the hand above the ball, full control of the ball while changing directions, no cones may be hit, you may only use one hand at a time, and the ball has to hit the ground. Some flexible factors to this are the amount of force used to dribble the ball, the dribble height, dribble rhythm, and the speed throughout the course. In order to learn the skill, we will first begin with a less complex activity in which the person will be dribbling in place. This is classified as 1B under genteel taxonomy due to stable regulatory conditions, no inner trial variability, no body transport, and object manipulation through the use of the basketball. Common errors seen in this are lack of control of the ball and the dribbling accuracy within the square. After consecutively dribbling 50 times within the square, the athlete will then be able to progress to the next difficulty. Next, we will be progressing to dribbling the ball with alternating hands. This is still within 1B, as the only change at this difficulty will be using two hands. Dribbling consistently 50 times within the score at this level allows the athlete to proceed to the next difficulty, as mastery of this is seen. Alternating hands causes an increased lack of coordination, as seen here. The next progression will be to dribble the ball between the legs while alternating hands. This requires coordination with both hands with limited view of the ball. Once 20 to 30 dribbles through the legs are completed successfully without losing control of the ball, the athlete can now move on to the next complexity of the drill. The body is now an active body transport in this drill, which classifies it as 1D in genteel taxonomy. When the athlete can maintain control of the ball within arm's length throughout the movement, the athlete can then progress. Cones add more difficulty to this drill by requiring the athlete to navigate through them. Additionally, there is an increase in spatial demands. Have the player complete this drill five times successfully before making it harder. To add more difficulty to this, alternating hands through the cone drill reintroduces coordination between both hands. However, this time with body transport. In order to advance, the athlete should be able to dribble through this obstacle course five consecutive times successfully while maintaining full control of the ball. In the next video, you will notice the coach point and shout the direction the athlete will need to go next. As we add a varied command of direction, which includes cutting left, cutting right, or driving in. This final drill is classified as 2D in genteel taxonomy as we introduce inner trial variability as the coach will shout which direction to go just before the player reaches the intersecting cone. Practicing this drill allows the athlete to increase their ball handling skills and agility.